next two pieces performed by the university singers come from the separate disciplines of astronomy and biology, but are connected by women in science. Women in science are historically and were historically overlooked. You might recognize some historically important women, Marie Curie, Mimi Rockwell, Franklin, but you likely have not heard of Caroline Herschel or Lynn Margulis. An account of a comet is based on the letter written by Caroline Herschel to a member of the Royal Society of London describing her observations. Caroline, born in 1750, died 1847, worked alongside her more famous astronomer brother, William Herschel, assisting him in making observations, repairing and building telescopes. She is the first woman to discover a comet. In fact, she discovered several and have had the results published and get paid as a scientist. The pathway to recognition was not without hurdles. The publication of her description in the observations of the Proceedings of the Royal Society of London was allowed only because her brother was a member of the society. The 20th century was not much better for female scientists than the late 18th century. My Proteins, composed by JU alumnus Bob Moore, describes the complexity of our biology as, quote, 90% of my cells, they have discovered, are not my own, unquote. We are, in fact, ecosystems with symbiotic bacteria and viruses that contribute to our well-being while we nurture them. This revelation owes its acceptance to Dr. Lynn Margulis, born in 1938 and died 2011, who proposed the endosymbiotic theory of cell evolution. She said that complex organisms are made of cells that evolved by incorporating smaller cells, bacteria, into themselves and then providing shelter for them while benefiting from the byproducts. The theory was ridiculed. At the time, Dr. Margulis was ridiculed as a biology heretic and unruly earth mother. The theory was finally accepted as a cogent explanation for the evolution of complex cells about a decade later. In fact, Dr. Margulis was finally recognized and was awarded the National Medal of Science, the William Proctor Prize, the Guggenheim Fellowship, and the Darwin Wallace Medal for contributions to evolutionary theory. Please enjoy these pieces, to which, which owe much to historically important 